Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Today I'm going to show you how to make mushroom bourguignon. And this is based on Julia Child's beef bourguignon. But of course it's not beef. We're going to use some portobello mushrooms uh, as the meat replacement because uh, portobello mushrooms are big and, and meaty and they, you know, they soak in a lot of flavor when they cook with all the juices, which makes it just fantastic. So I'm just going to get started. Um, I've got some, I've got two onions just roughly chopped in here that we're going to get going. So we need to get these, uh, the onions just lightly cooked before we add the, the rest of the ingredients. Get that. Okay. And what you have to do before you start your, uh, before you start cooking, I preheated my oven to 400. And I put two cartons, two eight ounce cartons of portobello mushrooms on my cookie sheet here with parchment paper and bake them for about 20 minutes. And what that does is it dry, mushrooms are really juicy, especially when you start cooking them in with other things, it releases all their juice and then you end up with a really watery uh, mixture. So this just dries out our mushrooms a bit first so that they can soak up the juices that are in the sauce instead of releasing their juices. So, okay, and then I have two um, potatoes, just roughly chopped to just chunks, and three carrots, the same. And then I have uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste, a bay leaf, a teaspoon of pepper, and three cloves of garlic, minced. And then I have one cup of red wine. And that's kind of a necessary ingredient. It really makes the sauce rich. It gives it a rich flavor, but all of the alcohol cooks out of it. So you really don't need to be that concerned with it, about the alcohol in the wine. This used to be one of my favorite dishes, the beef bourguignon, before I turned vegan. And I made it a few times, but it takes a lot of butter probably, I think it's over one stick of butter, which is a huge amount of fat that's not really necessary. So I just decided I need to make a plant-based ver plant version of this because it's such a delicious meal. All right, there we go. Onions are looking good. So we're just gonna add all of our other ingredients, the potatoes, the carrots, the mushrooms. And I kind of like doing this on uh, parchment paper or baking paper because when you take it off the cookie sheet, you just lift the piece of parchment over to your bowl or your pot and pour it in. It's pretty handy. And I've got my burner on medium heat. these two. This is also, this is a really great dish if you're having company over. It's kind of a special, uh, really rich, um, kind of fancy meal. So if you're trying to impress somebody with a plant-based recipe that's super delicious, this is a great one. And I have here two, uh, two cups of filtered water. And that's just gonna get everything cooking together and create a really nice sauce. So I'm just gonna stir it together so it can get that tomato paste mixed into the water a bit and the wine. And then we're just gonna cover it and we're gonna let this simmer for quite a while. And when I come back, I'll let you how, know how long it's been simmering. Okay, the bourguignon has been cooking for about half an hour, or about 40 minutes actually, with on medium heat. And now we're, the vegetables and everything are nice and soft. And we still have some sauce. We need to remove the bay leaf. And then what I have here is a tablespoon of arrowroot powder and a tablespoon of water. And I'm just gonna mix this in here um, to thicken the sauce a bit. And 
and also add some Bragg's liquid aminos and I'm going to add a tablespoon. Let's stir it up a bit. Wow, this looks and smells so fantastic. I'm not even going to wait for a dish. I'm just going to get some out of here. Cool it off and taste. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. I think Julia would be proud. So be sure to check it out, guys, and check out some of my other Meatless Monday dishes and my other recipes. And I'll see you next time.